Uganda Yencha. So COVID-19, uh, has COVID-19 brought the right time? Oh, we must say that this, all oh, Ugandans might say that this is what we've been waiting for. More so, uh, each and every corner of this nation, everyone is demanding for food, demanding for best needs, demanding for a lot of things because they are, they are at home and it has made each and every one to realize a lot of things. Yeah. Should we say that COVID-19 has brought finally the right moment for change? I don't know, I don't believe that it is uh, COVID-19, mm. mm. but as we, uh, we discussed earlier, COVID-19 has uh, brought a lockdown, mm. and lockdown has brought reflection, mm -hmm. so we hope that everybody has been reflecting mm. on the kind of country we have, mm. and the kind of future mm. we want to see, mm. uh, and the kind of change we also need and so um, I think the challenges for those who thought the challenges were belong to some uh, some some people mm. that the challenges are not uh, mine huh? mm. then you, you start hopefully to reflect if you were for instance uh, depending on uh, if you're going to have a baby you're flown out if you're going to uh, for, for medication, mm. you go to India, you go to what? Those countries are not there for you now. Mm. You know? So hopefully, you should be reflecting on the health care system mm. here in Uganda. Mm. And therefore, you must also reflect on the kind of leadership that you need to have in order to have the services that you need. Mm. Yeah. So I think that, uh, I believe that many people are beginning to, to, to probably understand that uh, you know you may have the money but if you don't have the facility mm. if you if you are unable to go to fly mm. uh, that money may, may not help you here if Umulago is not in a good shape mm. if uh, Chirugu and, and other health uh, you know care centers are not available for you so uh, I, I, that is the kind of reflection that I hope COVID, uh, as unfortunate as it is, has helped to, to, to bring about. Speaking about the money question, we've always discussed uh, the monetization of uh, politics and the monetization of campaigns. I think this is now the right moment to the bus driver because uh, we've actually confirmed that one such moment is the more. Uh, as we speak, we might be experiencing a situation of poverty, but uh, as months, as days move on, we might ex uh, like experience extreme poverty. And you know how our politics at times is run, and uh, you never know. He has the money, sucks of, uh, sucks of them. We don't know, like actually, like apparently why he's asking for double cabins. You never know this is the right time even to buy people the boat, even at a, at a cheaper price. What do you think about the monetization of, uh, of politics? I think that is uh, monetization of politics is the biggest danger to mm. democracy, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Um, the buying you do, mm -hmm. it is expected. In because they need now sugar, they need what? Mm. Yeah, but you, you see, the thing is, if somebody gives you a kilo of sugar mm. uh, for you to give them a vote for five years, for five years you don't see them at all. For how long are you going to give them sugar? For how long? Because they have been getting kilograms and they have been doing that. Yeah, they have been doing that, but uh, that is why uh, education, for that is why I think they do not do voter education. Because if people understood uh, uh, that uh, whoever gives you food today, uh, even if it is a, a, a very good meal uh, that you eat today, if you don't have food tomorrow, your stomach will not remember mm. that you had a very good meal today. 
And therefore, those are the reflections that we hope people are, mm. are, are having. Uh, so that they understand that uh, the one who helps you to be able to get uh, a good education and therefore get a good job is helping you for that for today and for tomorrow and for the future. And is helping your children as well because you'll be able to educate them. Is helping you with your health care because you have the money to go to wherever you want to go for treatment. So, uh, so the, the, the idea of uh, stupefying people, you know, as if people don't have brains, you know, we must fight against it because uh, we all know that God has endowed each, each human being, he created every human being in his own image, so we have the potential, we have the capacity. Uh, so we must liberate ourselves. Mm. Nobody is going to liberate us. Ugandans that. must understand that nobody is going to liberate them. Mm. They have to liberate themselves. You seem to speak with a lot of confidence than never before. Mm. Uh, the biggest problem actually I've realized is a change of mindset. Mm. And for many years, uh, actually the bus drivers played around with the mindset, the consciousness of these people. Do you feel that AIT has done enough to awaken the mindset and the consciousness of these people? Because, like yes, you're speaking of a kilogram of sugar, but down uh, there in the, like deep in the village, uh, like uh, in some districts, they even those people who have gone on the ground who can't even afford a kilogram of, of sugar, who can't even afford a meal. And here comes COVID. The guy, the bus driver now has kilograms of uh, donations, kilograms of kosho, kilograms of uh, whatever. Don't you think you have a long way to go in regards to awakening the mindset? Because even if you pitch everything minus changing something on the ground and the mindset, you might be just actually uh, like talking to yourself. No, we are talking to Ugandans. Mm -hmm. And I think many, uh, we know that uh, uh, there is still a long way to go. Mm. And by the way, the teaching of uh, or the change of mindset is not just for ANT. Mm. It is for you as well, you, you guys in the media. You must educate the people. Mm. Ask them questions which allow them to reflect, mm. you know, to think. Ask, for instance, somebody who has got a kilo of sugar, for how long that kilo is going to take. Eh? Mm. And, uh, you know, so what if the one who gave you the sugar doesn't come back, which is most likely, which is actually, you know, you can guarantee that they are not coming back. Because mm. you see, if they have come and bought you eh, with the sugar, for them, once you give them their, their vote, mm. they have already paid. They have no obligation to come back, you know? And yet, if you, you know, there is an example in the Bible where uh, this uh, young man uh, sold his, uh, his inheritance for a cup of soup, and yet he had already come with the meat, uh, which required for, uh, 30 minutes to boil and he would have his own cup of, of soup and he still remain with his inheritance. So we must be patient. We must n uh, not allow ourselves to be bold. We have that in all of us. It's not just a few of us who have that, uh, you know, it's, it's not rocket science. Yeah? All of everybody understands that. You are a young man, you have a child. How is your child going to be? And you need to, to think about that. You know, what about your grandchild? So, I really, I think this is not just a question of just one political party think of, thinking about it. And, you know, we know that ANT has got uh, the values. Uh, we know that we shall do what we promise to do. We shall not just talk, and our track record 
can bear, uh, you know, can uh, can bear us out. Uh, but every Ugandan must think because we all have to build this country. Mm -hmm. Nobody is going to come from heaven. But God. Ambassador, like, do you believe to endow to engage into an election mm -hmm. whereby many have accused President Seven and his, uh, his fellows of rigging uh, elections year in, year out, in like election years? Uh, why would you go into an election with someone because you've already accused him and uh, like uh, he goes into an election, corrupts people, does what, like old, like, like, like evil stuff? I mean, what takes you there, like knowingly, that you're not, you're not going with a godly person, you're, you're talking on uh, your godly image, but someone is uh, actually uh, is being branded evil. <laughs> the devil always tries. Mm. He never gives up, but he's always <laughs> defeated. Mm. He was actually defeated a long time ago. Mm. But having said that, let me so say... So he's just here yes. pretending. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a lion, but mm. he's like. Yeah, like, true. Mm. Yeah, mm. a lion. Mm. Uh, but he's not a lion. Mm. So, uh, you see, what you are saying actually is uh, where many people get defeated. Mm -hmm. You already assume uh, that he has it all. Psychologically, he has conditioned you to believe that he is unbeatable. Mm. And yet we know very well that he knows he's beatable. That is why he, he bribes. Mm -hmm. That is why he, uh, he, you know, intimidates through, you know, uh, security organizations. Mm. He does all that because he knows he has no chance without that. He also takes advantage of the weaknesses that of the, you know, of uh, his opponents. Mm. If I don't have, uh, if I go into an election and uh, people come and vote for me, but if I don't have a, a, an agent that is incorruptible, uh, the first thing they will uh, they come and do is to buy your agent so that you don't have DR forms. Uh, if you don't have DR forms, how are you going to even prove that indeed the people voted for you? So those are the things that we have to deal with. But mentally, in fact, one of the things that he has used effectively is intimidation of the mind. Intimidation of the mind. Because, you know, he, 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 I think he has put, uh, positioned himself just like a god. Mm. Eh? He's a god, he cannot be beaten. Eh? He will call you all sorts of names, you know, uh, and uh, intimidate you to think that he, you know, you are just wasting your time. Mm. And yet we know that is why mindset is very important. That is why. Uh, people have to have confidence in themselves that me alone, Edith, I can also make a contribution and my contribution matters. If I start thinking that, you know, but me, a woman, uh, you know, you know, with these, uh, you know, monsters, how am I going to manage? I'm already defeated. But do you agree with the rhetoric that you can't challenge President Museveni in a free and fair election? In a free and fair election, you can challenge him. He will try his best to do all the things he has excelled in in the past. But I can assure you, his time is running out. Do you think an election only can host uh, this government, because uh, retired but not tired, Dr. Karo Kizawis, has always said that you can't host this government with an election only. How does it uh, like aim to respond to that? What, what, I, I don't get what uh, election only. Mm. What else would you want to do? What they did uh, from the bush? No, I wouldn't like that. I don't want to see 
In case the election is rigged? Uh, we keep on trying. Mm -hmm. If it is rigged, we keep on trying. We must try until we succeed. We shall succeed if we don't give up. Mm. Yeah. With the status quo now being changed, actually, the rhetoric has changed, everything has changed with the presence of COVID-19. Do you still stand any chances? Because many of you uh, have interviewed a couple of political analysts and say that the opposition seem not to have actually now a hand. They, you seem to have a weak hand compared to uh, uh, like before the, uh, the existence of COVID-19. And President Museveni is now enjoying the field alone. Do you think you stand any chances in 2021 and in case actually an election stands as it is uh, in January or February? Do you uh, think that you stand any chances of winning President Museveni with the change of status quo? I think we can. Mm. I believe we can. We have to do our best. Mm. Let us see. But I believe we can. And a coalition. You see, yeah, a coalition would be great. Mm -hmm. uh, a coalition would be great, be great because to give us strength, mm. I think we need to. Uh, I mean, uh, we as ANT, we have been, uh, we have good relations with all opposition political parties. Mm. We have some kind of formal relations mm -hmm. with the DP, with the People Power, mm -hmm. with, with the JEMA, mm -hmm. uh, with the, you know, some in the UPC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, with the, so um, we have no formal relationship with the FDC because of the way I think, since most of our leaders mm -hmm. uh, come but uh, we have good will and uh, our good, good will has been expressed. Uh, we believe that uh, we have a common uh, interest uh, to see uh, change uh, and therefore naturally I think we should be working together for the change. But so should we assume that ANT doesn't have any problems with our uh, AF uh, with the Forum for Democratic Change, since you say that you are like most of your leadership, all you, like your leaders, come from the Nata uh, uh, like party. So should we assume that you don't have any problem? With we don't have any problem with the FDC. We don't. It was uh, the question of uh, method. Mm. It's like uh, you know we are in a bus, mm. uh, or we, we we are in a in a, a taxi. Mm. And we all want to go to, say, Mitiana. Mm. Huh? Some want to pass one way, and, and others want mm. to pass another way. So mm. I think that is not uh, very serious in the sense that we can, it can be accommodated. Okay. But unfortunately, I think they were not able to accommodate each other, mm. and therefore, naturally, uh, they separated. Yeah, before I forget this, uh, in case there is a coalition, uh, as we remember uh, 2016 elections where there was a TDA mm -hmm. and that failed of course and uh, many accused still FDC of failing that uh, coalition. Do you support the idea of going into, an, uh, into a coalition with FDC, which many actually uh, accuse that they, uh, they disorganize a lot when it comes to to coalitions, and in case it turns out, like it turns out similarly uh, uh, to the TDA, like should we see ANT fronting its candidates as FBC? Well, we are, if we are unable to be in a coalition, mm -hmm. which is the first uh, desirable mm. or thing to mm. do, mm. Uh, then we certainly have we will have our own candidate. Mm. Yes. Already, you say that you have the best candidates. Like, uh, like, may I know on part or like, uh, like, best can, like on the president's post, like, should we assume that, uh, because in NRM we seem to have a drought of leaders or leadership, yeah, in and out, solo candidature, that rhetoric. 
and it has never changed. It's still up to now, it is the same song they are singing that President Museveni is, is the one who can score, mm -hmm. who can actually uh, blow the whistle, who can represent the party. Mm -hmm. On this post of the presidency, mm -hmm. do you have uh, different leaders, or we should say that the party head, the, lead, the, the president of the uh, lack of uh, a and <laughs> Yeah, I think that will be decided mm -hmm. in, the, um, in the conference, mm -hmm. the debate conference. Yeah. So I wouldn't like to go into that. But mm. everybody and anybody mm. uh, can stand. Mm. Yes, it will be decided by the yeah, mm. the Davis conference. Okay, do you think the head of uh, ANT can make a good president? Huh, you know, <laughs> you know, uh. you know for sure he can, uh. and he will. And I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook, uh, many accusing him that yes. Like including you, by the way, you've worked with this government, mm -hmm. and some seem not to give you a lot of attention, thinking that you're the same. I wouldn't love to go into what they have been branding him, like an F, this, whatever, but uh, on what grounds do you stand firm and convince Ugandans that, yes, of course, Jen Mugishamut can uh, become a, like a good president of this nation? Uh, I think uh, in order to know whether somebody can be or cannot be. Mm. Uh, it is important to look at his track record. record okay. My understanding uh, mm. of General Mutu, he is the only mm -hmm. person who actually left a government of his father, where the father was a minister, mm -hmm. and went to the bush. Mm. The comfort of power Mm -hmm. huh? He mm. left the comfort of power mm. and went to the bush because he saw that the government of his father mm. was actually not taking Uganda anywhere. Mm. Which to me means that he does not look at his own comfort, but the comfort mm. of, 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 of Uganda. He sees his comfort in the comfort of Uganda, mm. as opposed to many. Tell me anybody who has left the government of their own, where they are actually eating, the, you know, Ugandans, mm. 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 No gamba kare kanga and then one is the monti and as of no kuya. That is to me a uh each or see see uh yet a cho get a co banga to ye yo get a co na ye that is part of his track record. E chidala Boyali amaze o kuba o ku na vute kuba and the command. He was given a ministerial position. position. He rejected it. Others are clamoring to get into. He said, no, we agreed on something. You have breached the trust, my trust. You said you were going somewhere. Mm. We, you, you, are, you, you want me to now join you in going into the opposite direction? I'm not coming. How many have done that? Okay, and so many, so many. So, so what I would uh, request you guys mm. is to try to understand this man. Mm. He's extremely humble. He doesn't talk himself about himself. Uh, even when you give him compliments of things that he has done, he just says, "It's by the grace of God," you know. So, therefore. To me, that is why this kind of a person, because the challenge we have been having mm. are people promising things mm. and then leaving what they have promised, doing the opposite. Mm. And therefore, I don't see him become that kind of a leader who promises mm. uh, something good and then uh, arrives, he, he promises, he says, I will do this. And then he arrives, he starts changing goalposts. Mm. Huh? He starts even, you know, saying things 
the opposite of what he used to say. He's not that kind of a person. To me, therefore, that is really why actually I was attracted to ANT. Because I was mm. looking for the values, my own values, mm. you know, and I saw them there. Okay. Because I want, you know, there is no way, Moses, you can know what is in my heart. Mm. But if you are very careful, you can look at my track record. People cannot pre pretend forever. Mm. If I have been a thief before, if I got, an, you know, in my position, if as an ambassador, I, you know, I try to sell one of the buildings, the embassy buildings, you are very sure that unless, unless by the, 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 the transformation, the, by, unless by an encounter with God, and I am changed like so to Paul, mm. I would definitely do the same. The challenge with many people, we do not do homework. Mm -hmm. We take face value. We take people and things at face value. We don't study people. There is a small booklet I read way back, which said that people ch do not change. It mm -hmm. is the knowledge of them that changes. Mm -hmm. So if you have solid knowledge, therefore, you know that you have something solid. Speaking of uh, the characterization of actually the person I'm, si I'm uh, 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 like seated next to me, I remember those are uh, the way you described the uh, right Honorable John Patrick Amama Babas. Mm. I always listen to you like while describing because I like I always ask this question like in the listen to that you defended so much uh, right Honorable John Patrick Amama Babazi in an election and anyone could believe that oh we judged him so bad and now you're still uh, using the same words uh, on a Bushman by the way because many think that we should change the rhetoric to say that we shouldn't we don't need any like bushman the question is why should ugandans give you their ears mm. you marketed so much the ideas and the ideas of uh, john party command balance but it's back to the like, like to the party one might ask why uh ambassador grace sempala she served with nrm now served with uh, john patrick all like even tried so much to help the candidature of John Patrick Amambabas now to Jenu Mugisha Muntu. The question of inconsistency. Like one might think you're inconsistent and speaking of the character, one might ask your uh, real stand mm. on the change of this government. Um, you have talked about um, um, the right honorable president. Mm. Amama is going mm. back to Inari. I, I I don't know about that. But if he has gone, you, you haven't seen me go back to Inari. Mm. Have you seen me go back to Inari? But no. birds of the same feathers. No. You see, as I said, I cannot know what is in your heart. Mm. You can uh, lure me to go with you. Mm. Eh? And as I was lured in the beginning, mm -hmm to go to, you know, to be in the NRM. Mm. But as soon as I realized the NRM was mm. doing the opposite of what uh, they lured me to do, mm -hmm. then I left. There is no way I could have known that President Seven would be like he is now. There is no way. So by then he yes. was so good and uh, he, he was, was marketing. good. He was good and I marketed him mm -hmm. very, very effectively, very good. Mm. Many of my friends ask me what happened. And quite frankly, I don't know what happened. But I'm not in his heart. Mm. You know, he convinced me. I was probably, you could accuse me of being naive, mm -hmm. but you cannot be accuse me of being inconsistent. I'm mm. not inconsistent. I'm very solid in my own values. Mm. And I go with what I believe in. So Mbabas didn't I have cannot, the values. I cannot be bold. Mm. I cannot be intimidated. Should you assume that the values of Edith uh, Semper and Mbabas didn't match? What do you mean? 
because I know you as a lady uh, who stands on your word and uh, you speak of values and morals, integrity, yeah. etiquette. Should we assume that uh, you actually parting ways with John Patrick Kamambaba is now coming to uh, General Mugisha Muntu? Should we say that the values didn't match and uh, now there is a, a values match between you and uh, Major General Mugisha Muntu? No, you can't compare the two because mm. uh, go forward did not go forward. <laughs> Instead? Yeah, so, you know, if it didn't go forward, hmm. for me, I have my mission in life. You want to go forward? I want to go forward. Hmm. And I'm going forward. Yes. So, so should, I uh, am not going I don't know the reasons why he didn't go forward. You hmm. can ask him, look for him and ask him hmm. that. But you were with him? Yeah, I was with him going forward. But you if were, he didn't go yeah. forward, with me, I'm going forward. Mm. Yes, mm. I don't go backward. In case ANT fails to go forward. Yeah, I continue going forward until like I... With another party still? Listen, that is hypothetical. Mm. You know, uh, I really, you know, if you have read our constitution, mm -hmm. ANT constitution, by the way, go forward was not really even a political party. Yeah, it was really. You know, so if you, but if you see our constitution, we are a party that prides in values. Why? Because we believe that it is values. Mm. It is not the technical know-how that is lacking mm. in Uganda. Mm -hmm. It has been what has been lacking is values. That is why people uh, promise the good things right. which they know mm. are good, but then they do the opposite. Mm. Yeah, that is a question of values. That is a question of character and of integrity. Mm. It is not a technical thing. It is a matter of the heart. Mm. And I think, you know, so we need to have leaders with hearts. Mm. The brains they have, but they must have hearts. Mm. Because it is out of the heart that they are going to be able to do, to implement what we the technical stuff. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of the August House, you've already told him that you have the best leaders who can actually like, like represent people on their constituents, same on disparity, even other levels uh, in, in, into the August House. I want to pick your views on what you think, what would be called a lion's share, or like what many as have termed into like just a bonanza, cash bonanza of, uh, of the 10 billion. The MPs, uh, it seems they shared themselves, uh, owe to themselves 20 million each. And we hear some rumors on ground that whoever took back the 20M uh, of the NRM, they are receiving now the 40M. Well, like, what's your take on that, uh, the so called cash bonus in the August House? Um, I think it is a challenge. Hmm. But I think it comes from a challenge of where you have um, um, legislators, for mm -hmm. instance, who can also legislate about their, their um, salaries. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the US Congress increased their salary, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. none of them would come back. Yeah, true. It, it is unthinkable. Mm -hmm. That is what we must aspire for. Mm -hmm. Because you see, you know, conflict of interest, you know, if you are, you, you cannot determine your own salary. It is unethical. Mm -hmm. It is not right. And therefore, you know, but it is part of the system that we have to dismantle. Okay. That, yes, the system whereby people, elected uh, leaders, are not accountable to the people. You are representing very poor people, mm, mm. and you are very comfortable increasing your own salary and giving them crumbs. And they are supposed to, you know. You see, there is, a, let me, uh, if, mm. if you can give me the opportunity, there is, a, I read a story. Mm. Uh, I think this is a, probably not a true story, but it explains that Hitler mm -hmm. 
Hitler went to a meeting. Galine and Coco, Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Again, Anga, Akute and Coco. Kate and Coco, we are took a meeting. Natanika of Jima, Yura Kobu, and Yoya. Nama, Yura, Nama, Yura, Nama, Yura, until it became naked. Najika Sukawadi, Najika Suklab Kasori, which are two. Kati Bambi Netandi Kokuya. Yen again and our tool. But we are Maro Kutula, and Coco, we are Maro Kuya, naked, cold, breeding. Naj Najia, Naja Netu Netula, Kumpina Ye. Those are the expecting of all Yao, which are Chogulala. Eh? Buhitla and Agamba, T. Mulavi. Never to go with you, we will know Kurako. Over Jeko, a cobu to Kona, eh, taking tea away, humanity, humanity, over Jeko services, but and the cobu breeding, the Hanata and the cobu breeding under which you know Mochiba Jeko, Mokolechi, Mobakasukire, Bocaso, Bochachu, eh, Boposho, Bochi. Eh? So, those are things we must all think about, Moses. Because those are not hypothetical, only we see them in action, in reality. So, it is very important that we must educate our people, we must train our people, but most important, we must empower them. That as a human it, it takes to change their own situations. Mm. <laughs> Sally <laughs> Single or Jukira, I want to know what they may know the Kuro. And I can't do much of it. Eh? No, I will get it even in the app. Really? The Bobanga to so a Kuyiga or no Yiga D. So our MPs never learn. No, I'm waiting for the Tabai. Those you have answered it yourself. <laughs> I think it's that to this, okay, to this extent you learned. President Museveni, no mutegera, blundi, nyokano kari kazanyi. Nse, you see, uh, uh, mutegera, you know, I have my values. Mm. And I measure everything that is said and done mm. according to those mm. values. No, Rachel, uh, kubanga sirina chene itaga nyo. Seta aga gutu, seta aga sente, Seta ga wound. So I'm I'm solid in myself. I you know, I was bought by the blood of Jesus and that is co I'm complete. Abama Basma to Kakazanya, Kiraba Venava Chogiranga will choget you robot chag when sent and Bobby Wine. You have a like a like in the cheat and language you have na wusa over like not against uh baka babaka van in a gamanti can okay to the meat just a trap. Uh, like a trump, uh, like a trap. Can you of us or Gamanti? Maybe Chagurani, you know, Jeko, Jenny Mugisha Mutu, you know, Kuremezo, my agrotaga, a remedial avantu, a nav values, a terrace of looking up beyond our Kuremeza. I wouldn't like to really compare the two leaders hmm. uh, because Sobra Gamanti, my new. Uh, 
uh, I am very, uh, very happy that uh, he's not for sale. Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. me, in a leader, that is very, very good. Um, he definitely has a great future. Mm. Uh, uh, if you know, if he remains that consistent, mm. um, and uh, and he gains more experience, mm. because mm. experience is going to be very critical. Kubanga, um, Uganda, Wagendo Jireka, a lot of experience, a lot of skill, a lot of being solid really, you know, yourself. Eh? Mm. Not just about to Kubanga, Wagenda, Nevet, Neva, about Neva Gamba, but about our metal day, Kuganga, counting about our metal day. Juki Danti, about our quetor de Goma later. I tell Chilala Babanga advisors. Oh, Montuba advising Anga, but Torina, you are all solid ideas. But Abamu was so quite advising of Ubi. About another quite advising of Ruji, eventually, you know. Baga Manti Ida mean the first first cabinet year. We have professionals, professors, and this, and so forth and so on. Very, very quickly, mm. it fell apart. Kubanga yeti arina echichi. Chirunji of of course first and foremost, we were in echicho. You are also going to attract good advisors, mm. eh? And you know, and therefore those advisors, but Jaku Amagezi. Now, we are saying a gem, also grow garment in the two foot, cake and a magazi, and this is the right time for magaza ago. Eh? Naibu Wanga were told in go depending upon magazi gala to work, go cut, uh, go jack full of the zip. So we should assume the corner of a child, and I know, I know magaza, why I cheat a bit on a chivam. Yeah, and those are in a cut of Woody Montu and Amukama and Mua magazi. Well, you know, and I am more of a guest, you know, Rachel. Uh, you know, definitely I admire Honor Bachabani, Kubanga, Bulaba, you know, and Gedija, Jise, Javu Deo, or Nengedijava de Farm, maybe I say Muna in Ale Miraco, Rachel Chirunji. Uganda Yancha.